In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about what to do when you find a misalignment in your stitching. When you find glitches in your stitching, which rarely occurs but can happen, then you can use so-called control points. You can add control points or adjust control points to improve that stitching. Control points are the points that the program detects between the individual adjacent photos that you took and where the program will overlay these photos and stitch them together to achieve one homogeneous 360 degree panorama. So whenever your stitching is erroneous, then the program must have made a mistake detecting these, these control points. So what you would have to do then is go back and see whether the control points have been detected correctly, maybe move them, adjust them, delete them or add some new ones. And this is what I'm going to show you today. Before anything else, we need to stitch our panorama. We select the kind of panorama that we want to create, which in my case is an HDR panorama. We select the lens that we were using when we took the panoramas and we navigate to where we have those source photos, which these are my source photos. And as you can see, I took all of the individual photos three times with three different exposure levels, which this is a normal exposure, this is dark and this is bright, and they will all be overlaid to create one HDR panorama with a broader tonal range. So we click open. And like I just explained to you, the program correctly detects that I had three exposition steps. Down here it shows me my individual photos, so all of the angles that I took photos to see whether maybe I missed something, but they're all here, so I'm good. I click continue and I select auto stitching. Now in this process, the program is creating those control points that I was talking about, and it will now show me a low resolution preview of my panorama. And as you can see, here is our misalignment, and I'm going to show you now how you can fix that with just a couple of clicks. Therefore, we click on control points up here. And in this window, I have all of my adjacent source photos. So I have photo one, then I turned the camera to the right and I took photo two. And these points are the common points between these two adjacent photos. So these are the points that the program automatically detected and said, okay, this point number 31 in photo number one is the exact same point as point 31 in photo number two. So this is where I will overlay these two photos and stitch them together. And accordingly, it does that with all of the pairs of the photos. Okay, so we have two possible reasons for misalignments or wrong stitches, which are, first of all, the program might have placed control points wrongly, so it might have placed a point in the left photo, which is not the same point in the right photo, or it might not have found any control points for a certain area whatsoever. In that case, we would just have to help it and add these control points manually. So in order to detect what went wrong, in our area, we first have to navigate to the photos that show that area, which is here, photo number three and photo number four. And we can right away see that the program did not find or replace any control points for this area. So this is what we have to do now to help the program out. You can see that the program did find control points for the lower part of the photos, but that's not enough because not only do we have to find common points to overlay the photos, the program also has to deform the photos to make them fit properly over each other. So in order to overlay the photos properly, we also need to find control points up here that, that tell the program how to deform the photos to make them overlay. So we do that manually now. And in order to place control points, you simply choose a unique area in the first photo and you click and you select that exact same area in the other photo. Please note that you have a magnifying glass on the right so you can actually see where exactly you are placing the point. It's always a good idea to choose unique points such as corners, like the corner of the air condition here because uh, that's just easier than trying to find a unique point in this pattern here. So I'm just gonna define a couple of common points between the two photos. All of the corners. And maybe we can also define 
this light source. Now you can see that I didn't place it properly on the actual light, so I can click on the number and move it so it actually hits the light. I can see in the magnifying glass that I'm now hitting the center of the light and I do the same thing here. Maybe here the edge of the smoke detector and that's it. Now I think that should be enough control points for the program to know where to overlay also the top part of the photos. Now that is a case in which the program did not detect any control points for this area here. But sometimes you might also find that the program placed wrong control points. So let's say it would have placed a control point here on the blue band and would say that is the same point as the one here. Then obviously that's wrong. It would overlay this point with this point, which is not the same. So then I can either say I click on the number and I move that point to where it actually coincides with the point in photo number three. Or I can delete this point altogether and say, I think the program is confused by this point. So I right click on the number and the control point gets deleted in both photos. Now, once I placed my control points, I click on preview stitch and I should now see how the misalignment disappears and how the stitching improves. Yes, now the stitching is perfect. You can see there's absolutely no misalignment anymore. Everything else is still correct too. So now we can go ahead and stitch the panorama. So we click stitch and save down here. We select where to save the panorama and give it a name. And that's it. And then it will stitch the panorama the way I defined it in high quality. Thanks for watching.